So you guys probably don't know, I live in Guelph, Ontario, Canada, and I wouldn't say that it's a boring city, but it is not one of the major cities that always have action and always have something interesting to shoot. So here are a few tips that can help you guys make great photos even if you live in a boring city. tip is just be simple. A simple photo can always be very very beautiful. A black and white portrait, a tree, a flower, it just depends on how you take the photo. The second, the sec, what is that? What is that action all about? The second? What's that? I don't wonder what that is. Anyways, the second tip is to shoot people. Now when I go out to take photos and I don't really have an idea of what I'm going to going to be shooting, I usually go to a busy part of town, which is usually downtown, and I just set up my camera, I walk around, I see what I like, and I take pictures. And this one of this is one of the photos that I took the first time I did it, and it is one of my favorite photos. It's always great to shoot people because there's so much individuality in the air, there's so much creativity in the air. Everybody is different. So if you're ever wondering what to take, just go downtown. Or you don't even have to really go downtown, you go to a mall, if there are a lot of people in the mall, you could and you just have to be creative in the way that you take the pictures of the individuals. The third tip is to take pictures of cars and streets, and that's really great if you are alone and you don't really have anywhere to take pictures of, or if you're not really comfortable taking pictures of people yet. I usually do that all the time, basically, because I'm usually always alone, I don't really have friends. So I usually take pictures of cars and streets and I'll show a bit of uh, the pictures I take and I, I love taking pictures of streets especially because they're all the same in, a, in one way but they're all totally different in their own way and I think it's very cool and unique how you can put a spin on a street and a road so you should try and take pictures of streets and of cars. My last tip is to be creative with your photos. If you don't really know what to take you should bring accessories just in just to make the photo look more interesting than what it really is. Like I have this um, this uh, lens ball, and I got it maybe like I'll say like a month after I started um, taking photos, and it's just a it's just a ball that inverts it inverts uh, the the, it's just a crystal glass ball that inverts um, what's around it so it's really cool what you could do with this um, ball I might do a video on cool accessories to uh, amp up your photos yeah I might do that soon so it's always good to get creative because I use uh, many things I use magnifying glasses sometimes I use sunglasses um, I use bubbles, like just little things like that can always make your photo look really, really cool. I don't know, I've never actually like played with my, with this before because I was always scared I would break it. I don't know, I think that's gone for me now. It's like, like I was really scared I'd break it and I like, yeah. But now it's like, kind of I'm just throwing it around like, I, like I'm kind of shocked I'm doing it so calmly because it's really weird about it. I want to get the bigger one. I will soon, like, because this is the small. This is the smaller one. Look you know how stupid that looks. Probably looks really stupid. Yeah. Well, those are my few tips to make your photo taking experience much more exciting. In case you live in a boring city, and if you don't live in a boring city, there's still tips you can take. This is so amusing to me right now. Like I, I've never played with this, and it almost like I almost missed it in my hand a while ago, and my heart almost dropped. So, 
for the video.